Hi, I'm Symphoniers, and today we're taking a look at Mabel, heir to Craigflame in a historic brawl. Mabel, I, Mabel is just an, uh, just an excuse for me to play a good high power equipment deck, which I haven't had a chance to do since Stoneforge Mystic was added to Arena. Uh, the idea with playing equipment in eternal formats, or like a kind of I'm doing my best Canadian Highlander impression here. We don't go super all-in on playing every single piece of equipment into getting our equipment count as high as possible. We instead focus on having a pretty good suite, or like a suite of the best equipment. Shadow Spear, uh, Shadow Spear is really good at just stabilizing matchups, um, winning against aggro decks and stuff. Uh, Ember Cleave, great for just, you know, killing people stone dead. And we have two of the swords in the deck as well, um, Sword of Fire and Ice for, again, like, killing creatures or having a little bit of reach, getting a little bit of extra damage on the opponent. Sword of Forge and Frontier helps us ramp, helps us uh, get more cards and etc. And I think that's more or less the key equipment. I may be missing one or two things. We are running Blacksmith's Talent, although that's not technically an equipment itself. But yeah, we, we have that suite of equipment, and then we are using Stoneforge Mystic to tutor for it. We are also running Kellen to tutor for it, wherever Kellen's hiding. Hi, Kellen. Uh, yeah, the Birthright Boon Adventure on Kellen. And the idea is that with the tutors, we get a little bit of additional um, redundancy, and, you know, we get to kind of play three Ember Cleaves, sort of. Or we, we, we just have more regular access to better equipment instead of constant access to a lower average quality of equipment. We are also playing um, Lion Sash, which is definitely worth shouting out, just as Graveyard Hate, any kind of graveyard strategy, it is great for disrupting, and uh, people tend to forget about its ability, so, you know, that's handy. Um, aside from that stuff, we are playing just generically powerful cards and, like, Luminar Casperant, great thing to put uh, a sword on or whatever. Inti Seneschal of the Sun can help scale up, like, an Esper Sentinel, Giver of Runes, and a Skrelver in the deck to just help our stuff not die to spot removal or whatever. We have Heartfire Hero in the list because it loves carrying equipment. Uh, Goblin Tome Raider because it's a 2-2, effectively, in this deck a lot of the time. Um, we have a bunch of efficient or, like, high-power interaction in Lightning Bolt. Path to Exile Swords to Plowshares both evoke elementals in our colors in Fury and Solitude. And yeah, um, we are playing Showdown of the Skulls is just a very good kind of generically powerful card advantage. We also have a bunch of advantage creatures in, like, Mentor of the Meek, Siege Veteran. Uh, Thalia Heretic, uh, Heretic Cathar can help slow down, like, I don't know, a five-color Joda deck or whatever. Or just, uh, like, help us punch through a, a blocker our opponent played out, like, things can't block immediately, which helps us connect with swords and so on. Uh, I just noticed Mall of the Skyclaves, another great piece of equipment, because flying is real good. Um, we have Ranger Captain of Eos, again, just to tutor for our really good one-mana creatures. Uh, we have Connecting the Dots for another bit of very high-powered card advantage. Lelia, speaking of high-powered card advantage, Lelia is one of the most powerful cards in Magic. It's not just, uh, you know, a thing that does that. Uh, Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive meme. Um, Akiri Fearless Voyager can help us draw some cards, and Nimpical can be another great thing for just applying early pressure. A standout of the list, um, of, like, my testing has definitely been Flage, Titan of Fire's Fury, too, because turns out just having, like, a repeatable lightning helix, uh, is real good. I get why this is a card, and, yeah. Flage, worth crafting, you know, if you like, if you are a Boros enjoyer. Even Interrupter, also not often, or like not a super traditional equipment include, but it can like stop a Wrath from sweeping our board and then carry a sword itself, so, you know, it, it has felt pretty decent. We're also playing Reprieve for a similar bit of like on the stack interaction. Uh, I think that is a uh, Dawn of a New Age for some card draw. I think that's more or less the, like all the key bitlets of the deck. Ragavan, value, yay. Uh, if you like the deck tech and like the video, like, subscribe, and etc. Helps the channel a lot. If you want to support the channel even more, you can dig around in the description and follow me on Twitch, Twitter. Uh, you can support me on Patreon or become a YouTube member. Or if you're buying magic cards, you can buy them through the card trader link and use my code and I get a kickback off that and it helps a lot. All that rambling out of the way, let's get on to some actual gameplay. Beep. 
we'll say that that's good enough, or we'll give this a shot. Esper Sentinel, hey. Uh, sure. This is an aggressive opening hand, or we can do like Esper Sentinel on one to maybe slow them down. Uh, do Inti to grow Esper Sentinel. Um, you know, Bolt, Chatterfang, or whatever. Uh, and we'll see, we'll see what happens. We'll go from there. My leg is asleep and it's fine. It's not at all distracting. Ooh. Temple of Milady. Uh, Kumano. I think Inti's probably better here or more important. Um, I say immediately regretting my life choices. Uh, yeah, we can chuck a hard fire hero, I think. Maybe? I don't know. We see the farmhand, and we say goodbye to the farmhand. Good news is, if they have a removal spell, we'll at least draw a card off of it with the Esper Sentinel at two. Which is Avin. Okay. Hmm, a journey to nowhere, and we're getting there fast. Put it in the past. Etc. Etc. Um. Yeah, I guess just the land, because we might draw a land, and we have um, the castle Arden fail. We do hit a uh, witch enchanter four mana awkwardly. Uh, we will just take the three life. And play out Mabel here? I think that's the move. Hmm. Chatterfang. Ooh, uh, hmm. Our man is weird. We only have one red source. I want to Lelia plus Bolt Chatterfang, but we can't do that. And yeah. Um we definitely want to bolt Chatterfang. They can witches oven Chatterfang here, that's fine. Normally I'd prioritize getting Lelia down, but I think getting clean attacks with the whole board is just nice. Um, it's helpful. We can toss... I don't even know if we want to do this, actually. Uh... Toss Kumano. Inti happens. Continue making Esper Sentinel, Moy Giganti. Of course we hit something with a red pip. The thought with not equipping the Craig Flame there is just that if we hit something we can cast, or like a, I don't know, Enter of the Meek or whatever, uh, Welcoming Vampire, uh, we can play it out there. No dice, though. Hmm. Our opponent plays land. Four power Esper Sentinel is something. Hmm. Kalitas, Kalitas, will you do the Fandango? Thunderbolts and lightning, very, very frightening me. Kalitas, Kalitas. I'm not doing this parody quite properly. Magnifico. He's just a little traitor. Nobody loves him. Uh, anyway, um, we smash, we just fully tempo out the, uh, you know, Golgari kind of mid-range Chatterfang sack stuff. Um, yeah, Did, you know, beat them dead with uh, our efficient creatures, good games to the opponent. Uh, free mulligan. Extremely removal heavy hand, but you know what, maybe that's fine. Get a tap land out of the way. Um, pass, pass, elegant parlor, toss the Igonjo, we would like playables. 
Uh, the fake card, okay. Uh, honestly, Elder Swords uh, will we have the mana up. Um. Do, 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 yeah, sure. Get Mabel down. Hmm, Arcane Signet for the opponent. Novice Occultist. Human Wizard. Hmm. Grab a red source with the Erd Mesa. Do a sort of Forge and Frontier. Do a Smash. Because either they keep the wizard around for, like, triggers and stuff, or they draw a card. Like, there's reasons for them to both block and not block. They value keeping the wizard around. Yeah, so you have party future sight, and you put counters on things. Hmm... I hope they like fish. Now, uh, we can hard cast Solitude. Theoretically. Huh. Um, I kind of like Loran here. Opponent, would you like to kill Mabel? Yeah. We get to PPU the Arcane Signet, slow them down. Um, do we get the removal now? Do they not actually have removal and I'm just playing around a, like, sack effect or something? No. Settle. <laughs> Sure. Opponent settles Mabel. We will grab a... grab a planes. Um, put Mabel in the command zone. End turn. Was not thinking about settle the wreckage, I'll be first to admit. Um, I'm, I'm not quite... Uh, Settle the wreckage in standard was slightly before my time. Very slightly, or I caught like the very tail end of that standard. Um, so it's a thing. Imposter of the sixth pride goes burp. Oh, I'll take this. Thin down their party. Uh, tapped land. Uh, all of this is kind of awkward. Solitude does have flash, which I should maybe remember and think about. I always forget it's like in uh, Fury doesn't. Fury doesn't and Grief doesn't, right? Or something like that. can see solitude. I don't think... Uh, I don't think Paul... Uh, yeah, theoretically this slows stuff down a little bit, although sorcery speeding solitude is okay. They do that, sure. Do they attack? That's why I'm holding up the solitude. Do they attack? They do. My turn doesn't change at all. Wee 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 doo doo doo. 
I mean, actually, we shoot Paulo over the stone beast. Nominally different. Hey. Um, block this. Solitude takes out two things. That's all I wanted from it. Um, windswept heath. Do, 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 do. Mabel can get in there for some damage. Um, I wish we could sort of forge in frontier. I'll just have to settle for hitting them for four. Are you? You're three three, yeah. So that's why they're worried about the lightning helix. Three two paladin class, or they level up the paladin class, sure, so that the helix is less awkward. Um, we're pretty happy parting gusting Nalia, I think. Might actually make more sense to parting gust the stonework pack beast. Ah, uh, sure. Have a fish. Um, sort of funky and fresh. Uh, we hit them for six. And we do funky and fresh things. Fire and ice, you say. That's nice. We can kill the fish. Ooh, Varagoth is awkward. You require combat damage. Um, very big Mabel does one attack. They do this. Okay. Uh, sure. This doesn't change sequencing or whatever. Opponent goes to 11. Take action. Uh, shoot the... Nalia. Do, 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 do. Just... Yeah, making our semi-arbitrary decisions. Um, Shatter Skull Smashing is actually quite nice here. Or, like, you know, pretty reasonable. Because we can marsh flats, grab a planes, uh, do this just for... One, two, three, four. Right, we have enough for this. I sort of counted. Yay! Yeah, I eyeballed and was like, we have a lot of lands, uh, so we can do that. Take care of the fish and the commander in one go. Then next turn we can, like, hasten Akiri or do Roberto things or whatever. Opponent grabs uh, the Imposter of the Sixth Pride and replays it. Hmm... How many things do we have? We have ten things in the graveyard. Magnifique. Flage, do your thing. So anyway, I started blasting. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Um, take out both of those. <laughs> and then we get to Craig Flame. I kind of forgot that we had Craig Flame. Um, we take the opponent to one and we have a visible lightning helix. Does our opponent have a... what is it? Swing the balance or whatever? Swap life totals? They do not. Um, yeah, we, we just... Oh, that Flage turn in particular. <laughs> Just oof, owie. Uh, good games to the opponent. Uh, I don't know. This hand's okay. We're on the draw versus Cranko. And like the... Uh, I don't know. Free mulligan. Maybe? 
The elegant parlor is interesting here. Um, swords to plowshares, sure. I'll take it. Uh, let's do this, do a kimono. Hold up a bolt and or swords to plowshares. Yeah, we'd like to hold up some removal for Cranko, although we also want to get an Impacal down next turn, probably. At this point in the game, she can snowball a little bit more effectively than Mabel, or we could get Mabel to help an Impacal. Hmm. Goblin Firebrand. This is okay. I don't really want to... Uh, uh, listen, it's fine. Also, I said that, but then it's like, well, we can Loran the Patchwork Banner, which is not terrible. Um, I don't honestly hate that. If they have another mountain, it's a little bit goofy, or like, it's probably better to do the Nimpical thing. But... Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh... Eh, I mean, it slows down the Cranko recast. We do that. We Prismatic Vista for whatever. I guess a mountain. Keep it balanced. Um, a Nimpical to do the Nimpical thing. Do, do, do. We hit the opponent for six and end of the turn. Hmm. Hell broke loose. Hell broke loose. Honestly, kind of okay. Like, that gives us some room to. Uh, pay three life into the razor grass ambush. Um, use the treasure from forging the Tyrite sword to play out Mabel. Then next turn we can like equip uh, Cray Flame, do Dawn of a New Age stuff, make another treasure token, tutor for a thing on the final turn, uh, Shadow Spear or whatever it is. What do oh, fake cards? Uh, uh, some of those are relevant. Okay. Um, forging the Tyrite Sword. How do we want to do this, actually? I mean, just stick. Craig Flame on Mabel. Um. Yeah. Mabel is trampled. Their best jump block is Loran. They go with the etching. And they go to seven. We will do Dawn of a New Age. Hmm, I think I shouted out what Shadow Spear. We are set up for Ember Cleave. I haven't actually cast Ember Cleave with um in this deck yet, so you know. That's not a bad way to do a murder. Cranko does Cranko things. My turn. Forging the Tyrite Sword real slow, but, you know, just, uh, tutors, they're pretty good. They're pretty neat. Uh, we don't need to bestow yet. Or, yeah, simply, simply smash. Probably makes more sense to put it on Loran, actually. Or, yeah. Just let Loran punch through the 1-1. One, one. 
Th this optimization doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, we do we do uh, murder. I I'd like to commit a crime. Vis-a-vis -vis my opponent's life total. Good games to the opponent. Thank you for watching the video, and an extra big thank you to the Patreon patrons and YouTube members that help make these videos possible. Hope you have a wonderful day. Bye bye